Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Boolean operators. Uh, they are also, AKA, logical operators. Okay. Um, you might have seen me just do something kind of interesting. Instead of using the left key, I, it looked like I jumped from word to word. And this is just one of the little tricks when you're using uh, pretty much any tool that lets you, any text editor really, uh, if you hold down the control button and you move the left or right arrows, it will go into the next white space. So this is the white space in here. White space is just a, a space, okay? So any empty area, okay? So the Boolean operators, there are three Boolean operators. There is an and, an or, and a not. And we're gonna look at each one of these. Uh, we're going to look at the AND operator first. So this is the AND operator. And the AND operator uh, works in the following way. If all statements are true, then the answer is true. And I'm actually going to capitalize that to make it a Python true. So if all statements are true, then the answer is true. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to use some very simple examples. I'm going to use a print statement, and we're just going to say, is 1 greater than 0? I'm actually going to take those off. It's 1 greater than 0, and is 4 less than 7. So if I'm looking at this statement here, this print statement, this here would be true. So this 1 is greater than 0, and 4 is less than 7, so this is also true. So if I were to run this, when it gets to this print statement, it says, all right, well, this is true, and this is true, and I'm anding them together. And if you and them together, they both have to be true. According to this rule, all statements are true, then the answer is true. So that means this will print out true. All right, makes sense, right? Okay, so now, if I make one of these false, and we can make it false by just switching this around and saying, uh, four is greater than seven, uh, then not all the statements are true, therefore it should print out false. So if I do this, I get false. All right. Now, I'm probably wondering like, why would I ever need to print out a true or false thing like this? And to be honest, you probably won't. Uh, this idea of Boolean operators or logical operators, uh, they, This idea of uh, Boolean operators or logical operators is, is one that's used more with if statements, and we're going to see that pretty soon. It's used a lot with looping and other things. So it's actually a very, very important concept to understand how and, or, and not work. Uh, but uh, with print, not too useful. Okay? But at the moment, you just kind of get an idea of how, how, how it works. Okay, So we can actually do this with as many statements as we want. We can say and, uh, I don't know, let's say two is equal to three. Okay, so right now, this is false. These two are all false, so if I print this out, I'll get false. Now, even if I made this one true, and now I have two trues and one false, I'm still gonna get false. So this is the third one down here, is false. And I get false because uh, all statements have to be true, to get true. And in this case, the middle one's not. All right, so pretty easy, right? Okay, uh, and that's that's really about it for the and statement. Uh, we'll see this, you'll see this throughout your programming life and you'll definitely see it in a couple videos. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the or operator. I'm just gonna copy this and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna comment all of this out. I'm gonna move down a little bit here. Give us some uh, fresh space. And we're going to do the OR operator. And for the OR operator, uh, for the statement to be true, only one of, let's say, we'll say for the, the whole statement to be true, only one of the, um, one of, I'm going to write up here again. If all statements are true, the answer is true, let's say, uh, 
we'll rephrase that. Okay. If one statement is true, then you get true. Okay. So in this case, if one of these is true, then I should get true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the RN statements a little bit. So in this case, uh, we'll look at the first one. Okay, so according to this uh, new rule I just came up with for or, if one of them is true, then you get true. So in this case, we have two trues, which means this first print statement should print true. I have one true here, which means uh, you're, you're going to get a true. And two of them here are true, so I should get three trues when I run this. And I get three trues. Okay. So the way you can think about it is and, they all have to be, and or, only one of them has to be. All right. And the way to get a false statement is if I make something else false. So I change this to be, I don't know, 10. Is one greater than 10? No, one is not greater than 10. So if I run this, I'll get a false. All right. So when do you want to kind of use these? Well, when you get to if statements, you're going to want to say something like, well, I... Uh, well, let's give me, I'll give you an example here. Let's say you're going to go get your driver's license. I actually just went to get my driver's license today in China, so I did all that. And for me to get my driver's license, when I went there, I had to have my passport, and I had to have some photos, and I had to have um, a couple other like letters and some signed documents and stuff. So I had to have all of those things. I had to have three things in order to get it. So that would have been an and statement. It would have been... You need your, your passport and your photos and the signed papers. Otherwise, you do, you're you never going to get that license. Okay. Now, at the, in the other, using or, uh, you could have, for example, there was many different types of documents I could have brought. I could have brought a passport. If I was a Chinese citizen, I could have brought an ID card. I could have brought some other things as well. But let's say if you have a passport or you have an ID card, then you can go ahead and do the rest of the paperwork. So that's an or statement. You just need one or the other. All right, so let's go ahead and do the not. So the not operator, once again, comment those out. Come down here. Okay, now the not operator uh, if something is true, it makes it false, and if it's false, it makes it true. All right, so it's just kind of reversing whatever we do. So let me give you an example. Um, let's say I have this statement here. Uh, one is greater than zero. All right, so if I were to run this, just like we saw in the other videos, I'm going to get true. Now, if I say not one is greater than zero, it just reverses that process. So if I print uh, one greater than zero, I get true and not one zero, you get false. So it's kind of the opposite of, of whatever, you, whatever you're looking for. And that can be useful at times as well. Uh, you can say things like, um, you know, if you have... Uh, file one, file two, file three, and not file two or whatever, then it can it, it, it can actually work for you that way as well. So not doesn't really have compound statements. Like uh, what I mean by compound is you don't take one inequality, another inequality, or another, you know, you're not comparing multiple things together. You're just taking one thing and reversing the true value of it. The, so you're changing the Boolean value from true to false or from false to true, whatever it happens to be. Okay, so for example, if this was one is greater than 10, well, one's not greater than 10, but if I run this, I'll get true because it, this is false and then I not. Okay. So you can combine these as well. So let's look at some combined ones for some examples here. I'll comment these ones out come down again I'm just gonna move down here okay so let's do let's do something like uh, one is greater than zero and two is less than three or uh, I don't know four is greater than one okay so what do you think this is gonna print out well, let's take a look here 
We got this is one greater than zero, that's true. Two is less than three, that's true. And this is true. Well, we got all trues, so we're gonna get a true. All right, well, let's look at another one. Let's copy that. Now let's say I have uh, four is greater than 10. So now this is false. So when this evaluates, by evaluate, I mean when it looks to solve this, it's gonna solve it from left to right, unless I've put other things, like other parentheses in there, so it goes from the inner parentheses to the outer, and we'll give you an example in just a minute. But in this one, it will first evaluate this side. So it true and true is a true, right? And true or false will give you a what? Well, it's an or statement, so it can be anything, right? It can be, uh, oh, sorry, by anything I mean any of the answers can be true, and you'll get a true. So if I ran this, I will still get true. Okay, but now, if I change this back to, do another one, I'll just copy this again. If I change this back to one, so this is now true, and I change this one to false, and I make two is less than one, what will I get here? Well, as I said before, it evaluates from the left to the right. So this true statement and this false statement will actually give you a false, and false or true should give you another true, right? Okay, so that works out just fine. But if I change this back to being false, what happens now? Right, so now I get a false statement because true and false together is going to give you a false. False or false will give you a false. Okay. All right. Uh, you can also put a not in here. So if I put this same last, the same statement here, true, true, and false, and let's say I do not. I do not one is greater than zero. In this case, I'll get false because this statement here is actually false. Because one is greater than zero, but it does a not of this, meaning it, it changes the opposite, which makes it false. So a false and a true gives you a false, and a false and a false, or false or a false, will give you a false. All right. So this is kind of the basic idea of the Boolean or logical operators, and we're gonna use these a whole lot more. So if you're looking at these right now and you're saying, eh, I'm not really sure why, what's the purpose, why am I printing these, or even if you're somewhat confused over how they work, uh, just hold on and wait till we get to the if statements and the switch statements, and you'll get a whole lot more practice with these. Hey, uh, also, you can look, I'm going to add some supplemental resources uh, for this one. So I'll, I'll give you some links on kind of like how to deal with uh, logical operators and just kind of Boolean stuff in general. Okay, so take a look at that if you're still confused or you want to go deeper into this stuff. Uh, if you've seen any of this in a math class before, then you're probably uh, probably ahead of most people when it comes to, to this type of um, this type of math. Okay. All right. Uh, see you in the next video, and we're going to kind of finish up the operator section here. All right.